Hi everybody, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a song inside the FA06, FA08 uh, using arpeggios. So this is actually a really fun and an easy process. So when I'm creating a song, uh, a lot of times, let's go ahead and change the studio set. I'm just gonna use the first one, the preset FA preview. Uh, let's go into the sequ uh, sequencer section. I'm gonna go to song select, and I'm just gonna go to uh, initialize song right here and load that. Okay, so we're all starting off at a blank space. You guys could try this at home and see how easy this is. So next, I'm gonna come into my studio sets, press both of those buttons at the same time. So now I can see all of the different uh, parts right here. So there's all the parts. Okay, if we look, we can actually see there's the arpeggio right there. But notice what happens. When I go ahead and cursor down, the arpeggio goes to that different MIDI part really quick really easy now we're going to do something else first i like to use the pad utility a lot so in the pad utility press that now i'm going to press pad mode and i'm going to use this one for part select number two so now check out what happens in here i can move around and as i'm changing parts it's also highlighting the arpeggio so very easy so now let's go in and begin sequencing so press the sequencer button I have nothing here. Let's go ahead and there's some drums. I'm gonna record drums first and I'm gonna put my tempo at about 100. Great. Press the record button. I'm gonna put mine on weight note. I like to use weight note. And I'm gonna go ahead and have mine quantize on grid just in case I'm a little off. And now I'll have it on loop record maybe for two measures. That's all I need, maybe two measures. Okay, it's pretty much set to go, so let's do it. Two, three. Obviously that wasn't very good, so let's try it again. So check this out. I can go ahead and press stop and shift undo. This is good. So if you make a mistake, uh, don't worry about it. It's not that hard to get out of it. Let's try it again and see if I can have better tempo. So let's go ahead and record. So a little bit better, so that's great. Now let's go ahead and stop, and I'm gonna go ahead and find something else to do. So I'm gonna go into here, this part four, and let's find uh, let's go to part two and I'm going to change that to a bass and let's go ahead and do some kind of synth bass. Now let's go ahead and press arpeggio and check this out. In the arpeggio section there's a lot of different options I could do, a lot of different types of arpeggios that we can use in here. So I might just go ahead and let's try the note values. So it's on now. I can tell it how I want it to play. There's different variations. So each different arpeggio has different amount of variations. And might have this. Got that going. So now let's go ahead and record it. So select, it's ready to record. So that's recorded, and it now the arpeggio doesn't need to be on because it recorded the arpeggio. So let's go ahead and listen. That quick, that easy. Now let's go to another part, and maybe we'll do some kind of synth part in here. And I'm gonna choose maybe a synth lead, go into my arpeggio, and this time instead of note value, let's go ahead and do like a 16th syncopated. So let's take a listen to that. It's on. And let's try a different variation. And maybe I want to go ahead and change the motif of that. Uh, let's try it. Uh, maybe let's try Glissando, see what that does. Try a different one. Maybe that up and down right here. So let's 
So let's do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and record, have it on weight note grid, and let's try it. That's great, and now that's recorded. Let's do one more. So I'm gonna go down to the other part right here, and that one's an organ. Let's change this to another synth, and maybe we'll change it to something uh, like a poly key. Perfect, that's fine. And I'm gonna turn our arpeggio, and let's try something else. Maybe we'll do something rhythmic. See what this does. That's fine, let's go ahead and try and record it. So record, and let's put it in there. Here we go. So it recorded it, arpeggio can be off now because it recorded the arpeggio. Let's back it up and give it a quick listen. So as you see that quickly, just using arpeggios, I was able to come up with a pretty cool little sequence. Now obviously I can go in and spend a little more time and pick out uh, better arpeggios or better sounds with those arpeggios, but I wanted you to see inside the arpeggio section, you have a lot of choices. A lot of different arpeggios you can use right in here. And then once you choose that, that particular arpeggio, uh, you can go ahead and tell it how to react. Do we want it to, what kind of variations do we want it to have? And also what kind of musical motif do we want it to have? So we can go in there and do that. So you guys go ahead and start looking through uh, all these different arpeggios and find some of the ones that are your favorites for, for this type of music that you're doing. They're actually a lot of fun and they can help you break through any kind of writer's block or really inspire you to come up with something really new and great. So you guys have fun with this and we'll talk to you later. Take care.